Paul in Woodenville, Washington. Hey, Paul, what's on your mind today? Hi, Tom. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, how, reflecting on Memorial Day weekend, it seemed a perfect time for the Republicans and the right wingers to trash the VA. Yeah. Uh, I Tragically. To talk about some. Huh? Tragically. Yeah. Well, let me give some facts. Uh, the first thing is the independent uh, think tank RAND in 2010 rated the VA the top rated health care delivery system in the country for appropriate care, outcomes, and most cost effective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the VA, as you know, the VA is. You had one caller earlier in the hour who said he had a horrible time with the VA, and he was a combat veteran. Uh, I would suggest that he would have a much, much worse time if what we did was turn uh, veterans over to the co uh, private commercial s system because they're not equipped to deal with veterans' issues. Yep. He mentioned he had psychological issues. Well, the psychological psych departments in most major medical centers are the money losers. They don't make money, so they're only staffed to deal with sort of garden variety civilian things like depression, family problems, stuff like that. Right. They're not they're not designed to deal with uh, with, with combat P PTSD type issues, and neither are most physicians in these medical centers trained to deal with stuff like this. The problem with the VA is we have lines, and the reason we have lines is because we have a national policy of continuous military inter interventionism. And underfunding the VA. And, and underfunding it. Oh, by the way, let me bring something up. My mom works, she's, she's been a nurse for, she started her basic nursing training in 1947. She's still involved. She does volunteer work. She, does, she, loves, she loves to sew. She does volunteer work uh, for an organization that, that alters garments for uh, veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan, what they do is they, they take a pair of jeans or some sweats or a pair of shorts and they cut them and then they reseal the seams with Velcro to make it easy so they can get into the wounds without having to completely undress. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. She told me that this was a couple of years ago when she was doing this. She said there were 100,000 back orders. Wow. And, and they're filling this with old ladies who like to sew. That's how we're treating our veterans. Right. 100,000 back orders for our veterans and they're filling orders by old ladies who are in their late 80s who like to sew. And this is where the Libertarian Party says we believe that, you know, charity should be voluntary and it should be coming from basically old ladies who like to sew. This is not the role of the government. That's exactly right. And so if they want to privatize it, and here's the thing, they talk about waiting lines. What do you think is going to happen? We have had 127 million emergency room visits in 2014, 35 million admittees to the hospitals. What happens, and this is to slightly under 5,000 hospitals, acute care hospitals in this country. What happens when you dump 6 million more veterans onto that system? That's a 17% increase. Who's going to be waiting now? Us. We're all going to be waiting. Yeah. Including the vets. These people. Huh? Including the vets. You are crazy. Yeah, this this uh, Paul Ryan Republican, uh, you know, privatized the VA mantra, right. libertarian mantra is 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 worse than BS. It's 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 worse than a scam. It's worse it than a hustle to make more money for their donor class. It is it is destructive to our veterans and to our society as a whole. Men for only for political purposes. That's exactly it. For political purposes and to appease people who hate Obamacare. Yeah. Uh, they want to destroy our, v our VA system when what we should be doing is, first of all, not sending so many into combat so we have these long lines with our, our policy of military interventionism everywhere. That's our only answer to every problem. And that's why some of the veterans, I think it is some, are, are, they are having some, some tough times, but they would be a lot worse off if they were just dumped into the uh, commercial private system. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Thank you, Paul. Well said. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.